hello and welcome back to the channel it's that time of the year winter is finally here and i'm super excited to be bringing you this video some people end this season looking like this and some others like this which do you prefer the weather is cold and harsh out there but instead of looking dry and flaky i'm going to show you how to take advantage of this weather by paying more attention to some of the things you should do and shouldn't do to your skin so it can come out looking moisturized and healthy i'll also give you a bonus tip at the end of this video so make sure you watch till the end The first on the list is shower. Okay, you should shower, but not every day. Especially if you have a dry skin or you are not physically active in terms of sweating a lot daily, in terms of doing exercises or work that requires you to sweat a lot. So instead of showering every day, you can choose to shower every other day. But if you have an oily skin or you feel uncomfortable not showering every day, you can still shower every day, but just reduce the frequency to once a day and also reduce your shower time. So instead of spending 30 minutes under the hot shower because i know a lot of people including myself prefer hot water especially in this weather so instead of spending about 30 to 45 minutes under the hot shower reduce that shower time and most importantly reduce the temperature of the water so use more lukewarm water instead of hot water i know it's very tempting to use hot water in this weather i love to do that as well but it's not that good for your skin because it strips out the oil that your skin naturally produces and that can and affect your skin barrier while you shower you want to opt for using milder cleansers or milder bathing soap generally when a cleanser is very foamy and it leaves your skin feeling squeaky clean that's quite harsh that's not something you should be using during the winter season most people with dry skin normally avoid those kind of products and they use more moisturizing products but I do know people with oily skin like to strip off every single moisture from their skin but don't do that you'll save your skin in the long run after taking your shower and you need to dry your skin try to pat your skin gently and not scrubbing your skin with that towel to get rid of all the moisture and this applies in all season not just winter I'm pretty sure women are used to not doing that but men I still find them very guilty of drying out their entire skin and that's not good for you so pat your skin gently with a towel if you're consistent with a nighttime skincare routine you might not need to wash your face in the morning so for example every night you wash your face you do your complete four or five steps skincare routine you go to bed when you wake up in the morning and you're getting ready for your day you don't need to wash your face with a cleanser in this winter season because think of it your face is not dirty you literally went to bed after your nighttime skincare routine so you can skip the cleansing step of your morning facial routine by just applying water on your face instead of a cleanser if you're not comfortable with that you could opt for a deep oil cleansing so that's you using a facial oil light facial oil like oba oil rose hip oil almond oil avocado oil gently massage that into your face run your facial towel under a lukewarm water and place the towel on your face and wipe the oil out the reason why you want to use a towel is because if you just apply oil to clean your face after using an oil for deep cleaning, it's not going to really clean your face. You won't be able to get out most of the oil from your face. Please do not use cooking oil. Your vegetable oil in the kitchen, canola oil, your corn oil is a no-no. They don't have the nutrients that your skin needs. Also, you can opt for facial oils from popular brands like Neutrogena, she she dedo she said something like that <laughs> but just make sure it doesn't have a strong fragrance because that could also dry your skin you don't need to frequently physically exfoliate your skin for people with dry skin you can exfoliate your skin once a week also you can go for a chemical exfoliant there are a lot of them out there some are pretty affordable we have popular brands like polar choice with the bha and we have um we have the ordinary as well. So BHA, AHA are chemical exfoliants that you can also use on your skin. Instead of using a physical exfoliant, those 
you, you know those scrubs those scrubs with the tiny stones with exfoliation you can focus more on the stubborn parts of your body instead of your entire body so if you feel like your heel your palm your knees your ankles are getting dry easily during the winter season you can choose to moisturizers are a big part of your skincare in this season either you have a dry skin an oily skin or a normal skin you would realize that because the weather is more humid your skin tends to dry out more and you might need to change from using your usual body lotions to something heavier something with a thicker consistency like a moisturizing cream or just simply increasing the frequency in which you moisturize your body so people with oily or normal skin for example might not need to change their moisturizer in this period they might just need to increase the frequency of using them maybe twice a day instead of once a day adding emollients and hydrating serums like hyaluronic acid is also a great way of just pumping more moisture onto your skin just products that are hydrating also to seal up all that moisture you can use occlusive moisturizers like your body butters or your vaseline i did a full video about you know moisturizers ingredients to look out for and what to look for in a moisturizer if you're trying to buy one from literally anywhere in the world i highly recommend that you check out that video i'm going to link it at the end of this video and in the description box below you don't want to get chapped lips because you forgot to take balms with you so use lip balms you could use the ones with SPF or you could just simply use Vaseline especially if you're going to bed at night smudge some lip balms on your lips wherever you are either you're inside the house or you're outside always make sure you have balms on your lips or petrolatum jelly this is the weather for you to dress comfy focus on wearing loose fitted clothes cover your body as much as you can if you're going outside the air outside is harsh so you don't want to expose your skin too much to that make sure you wear gloves wear head warmers this is not the time for you to be doing fashion wear socks cover yourself as much as you can keep yourself as warm as possible so the cold air is not blowing directly on your skin avoid tight clothing avoid tight clothing that you're not comfortable in they can further irritate your skin because it's like you're literally itchy and you, you don't want that humidifiers are so important in this weather if you don't have one you need to get one i know some people pour water in like a vase and keep it somewhere in the house you can do that as well but you still need a humidifier humidifiers will make sure that there's moisture in the air you're breathing in in your home it could be a small humidifier you would put by your bedside when you go to bed you don't have to splurge so much money on it there are very affordable humidifiers out there but you just need to introduce that moisture also reduce the temperature in the house as much as you can so yes you want to stay warm in the house you need to increase your heater i understand but try not to go extreme with your heating because one you're paying for gas <laughs> but most importantly you don't need to dry yourself out that much and the main reason why anyone would want their house steaming hot is because they are cold so instead of having such a high temperature in the house try to maintain a warm room temperature and wear good clothing so this period you might not be able to wear your shorts in the house you might need to wear long PJs instead I know this is the comfy weather and you like to just call under that blanket watch TV just chill at home but you do need to exercise you do need to live a healthy lifestyle you do need to drink your water to stay hydrated you do need to eat your fruits that are high in antioxidants and vitamins that you need get active aside you feeling warm from that it would also help your blood circulation your muscles that way you're feeling younger you're looking younger so do some dance exercises some workouts from home if you can go to the gym do that or if you want to jog around the neighborhood and the last but not the least is using a sunscreen so you do want to use your sunscreen i know the weather is cloudy i know it looks gloomy i know you think there's no sun out there but trust me there is sun there is uv rays penetrating through that beautiful skin of yours so please use a sunscreen especially those uvas that make you look older so you don't want your skin aging fast remember to use a sunscreen during daytime even during winter 
And that's all I have for you for today's video. If you haven't seen this hot chocolate before, hey, welcome to the channel. This is Tinola. I share valuable beauty and lifestyle content in this corner. We are all about looking our best, feeling our best, and living our best lives. So if you haven't subscribed to this thriving family yet, please consider doing so. If you'd like to learn more about moisturizers, how to choose one regardless of what country you're currently in, what to look for in a moisturizer then you definitely want to check out my moisturizer video which i'll be linking right here thank you so much for watching friends i will see you in my next video in the meantime i love you and keep your light shining bye